Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, my people, what's up? Let them know I'm in, I'm around the way. Let's get the humans in. Let's get the fake profiles in. Man, do y'all understand I'm getting tweet? Dude tweet me from a fake profile this morning, too. We're going to get to that, too. Oh, my God. Y'all be believing these niggas, man. It's insanity. Yeah, everybody get, yeah, uh, let them know I'm around. What's up with my people? What's up with my people? What's on the set? What's up? What's up? We having a good, a good healthy morning. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, since we're here before we get started, we'll just, okay, so your man's tweeting me from his, one of his fake pages, man. Rat ass nigga, rat ass, like all this, like this is what this, this what y'all guys doing. Tweeting from a fake page. You call him out on the fake page, he deletes the post. Same shit he been doing his whole career, man. It's like, hey, listen, man, look. Dude, listen. I'm going to say this slowly. My mama is sick, dummy. You will fuck around. This ain't the time for you to be, like, doing weak at Because, look, look, dude, look. Let's, let's. Let's just go ahead and call the spade a spade, man. This nigga's 100% fraud, man. It's like, it hurts me to even say this type of shit. It's like, uh, damn. Like, you tweet me from a fake profile, man. Come on, man. Dude, listen. In, in summary, go your way. I'm going to go mine. You come around me, that's an act of war. Yeah, understand what I'm saying to you, dude, for real. Me and you are at a zero. We'll, we will stay at a zero for eternity, right? Anything you near me is an act of war. It's already documented. You can't, dummy. I know that you think this is a video game, and it's not. Because you don't understand these settings of the real world. I, I understand. These niggas here don't understand that you don't know it. But like when things fail, when your attempts fail, you got to get some more attention. I'm not even going to give you no attention, but I'm telling you this, though. You might want to just stay away from me, though. Like, I'm, I'm, like look, if you love him, y'all know, y'all know what we're saying, right? If you love him, you might want to talk to him, though. Don't let, because th th this nigga, he doesn't understand. He don't, like for real. He doesn't understand that shit for real. That's what y'all don't know. How would you understand something you ain't saw? How? All right, so tell him, explain. Like, hey, look, dude, go your way, man. Like, that's it. Because I'm a civilian, man. And I'm in fear for my life. And I am armed. Go your way, man. See, y'all, y'all, see, I, I'm not a nigga that's for, I come from the real world, y'all. When you come from the real world, like, I know consequences for certain things in the real world. In the, in the real world, there's consequences for everything. Yes. So I understand the real world. That's why I operate in this system. But yeah, you should just go the other way, though. And I'll just leave that there. And, and yeah. I mean, I mean that. I can put that on my neighborhood because I was there. You probably should just go your way, though. I know it's triggering you to hear it because I'm the only nigga that didn't put their head down and shit to you. And get you knew I wouldn't, though. Nothing like that, right? Why would I do it? These niggas knew. Just go your way, man. That's all I'm... It's documented again, me saying it again. You love a little nigga? You might want to tell him to stay away from Bird, though. I ain't coming nowhere yet. You might just want to... Understand that the the camera nigga, this ain't that type of, this ain't that though, sir. It it'll be the you you being too much of the uh the aggressor, sir. But you know I know how to play the game because I come from it. So you should just go your way, cause I'll be afraid for real. Tweeting me fake profiles and shit like this, man. When your mama was sick, man, we ain't do all this shit, man. What you talking about? I, hey, listen, dude. Just check this out, though. Listen to the, the look. Hey, hey, look. I know you don't understand shit, and you don't know how this works. But any nigga that come from it, listen to my voice. You might want to go your way, dude.
Don't get heroic, nigga. And that's all I'm saying. You can just go your way. I'm going to go mine. You cross that, that's on you. Now, how's everybody more? Brother Rito, what's up, boy? What's up, boy? Rito, is he there? Oh, damn. Hey, I, I don't know. I, I just put the phone back down. Yo, oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Hold on. Let me get Yo, a little bit. What's the word out there, man? What's the word? It was a good word in a good world. I ain't shit. Just relaxing. Going to do a show tonight and shit. So oh, you been getting that money, huh? Man, trying to get this shit together. I, 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 you know what? When you busy in your life and this move, you don't even be thinking about stupid shit, do you? Nah, I don't even think. I don't think about nothing for real. Like I tell, I tell my family, it's like, man, listen, if it ain't something that we can resolve right now, don't talk to me about it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do you think family is the worst people we can have? I think. I think the people that family are the ones that get close to you. They always gonna try you. I wonder why is that though? Why do you think that we're designed to try the people close to us? Because it's like. Cause you know I, he, he you know he really won't hurt you. Is that, is that what it, it is? Nah, you know what it is. It's it's because of what the way they see you in their head. So it's like let's say you become friends with somebody, verb. You probably gonna be their top friend, and the minute you start leaving their life, that you just putting holes and shit in their life, bro. So they gotta go against you. You leaving, you moving upward. That's the only time it be like problems for real. When when somebody starts doing better and the other person's still stuck where they at. Oh, okay. So all right, that that does make sense. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, because it's hard to understand that concept to me. It's like if if you're close, and you're right, it's usually with people that's closer. The people that's further away from you, you'll never really have this type of problem with them. It's the people they that know for you. you. Yeah, they, yeah, the people that's far away yeah. gonna root yeah. for you forever. And the people that's not competitive with you. Like, I like I, I would never go to, like, you've been in my world, I've been in yours. It was never ego. I'm sure you ain't feel no ego for me in your world. I know how to play. I'm in your world. When you with me in my world, it's like, because it's not, it's not competition, though. But if you had a comedian you grew up with and y'all both on the same street, that's going to be like that regardless. And it's insanity. That's ins that that. That's why with the black culture, it, it it there is nothing that you niggas approve that matters in the real world. Nothing. It's the stupidest concept in the world because we actually will kill the next nigga for nothing. We will actually show our hate for somebody we know just because of it. Because he doesn't have this element. Or because, look, there is never a time where a bigger nigga wants to kill a smaller one, bro. It's never a time. It's never a time. He's too big. Like, like the niggas that's under me, I don't even know y'all. I don't give a fuck if you really that, though. But when somebody is steady, it's like... It, it, but it happens in our culture so fucking much. It's always one that feels like... like a, It's always a cousin that feel like, no, nah, it should be me. It should be me. Damn, nigga, it can't, it can't be everybody. In the movie State Property, what was Men Bleak character? It's uh, every black movie. It's a nigga that's biting a banana, saying, "Oh no, I don't like that shit. I don't like them niggas." For what? But some people on this planet are designed to be demons. They a demon can get inside them at any time, and it'll activate their body. Right? It'll take control of their body because they already got the evil in it. Like. A demon can't really just hop in and just do what he want with anybody. You know what I'm saying? You got them little evil doors. I'm sliding right through. It takes over the person. And the demon don't give a fuck about me or the person. That's the craziest part. Doesn't give a fuck. That's, but that's what we face. And it's crazy. Our culture does it. Like, niggas take sides in wars of people. You don't even know what happened there. Like, it's a bunch of niggas that don't like another nigga. And, and well, well, even with me, it's a bunch of niggas that's ready to flip shit for me right now because I grew up in two places that's like for real in real life where they can say I grew up there, right? So they're ready to flip shit. And it's like, that's one headache. And it's like, you like, nigga, man, no, man, for what? What I'm going to risk you for? Why are we so willing to take a side and then say, let's go to war? I would never put a nigga in a war because I'm like, 
You don't even know what I might have did. I wouldn't sacrifice you from your son, nigga. Unless I have to. Unless it's like, hey, this is a real life war now. Like something that really went bad. Then I'm calling my boys and I'm like, hey, strap up. Not for nothing that don't exist. I'm going to say, hey, what they did, what to who? That's when a nigga can call me and say, they did something. They did what to your son? We in the car with it. Let's roll. That's when you call me. Not over. Niggas that do that over jealousy and envy. And it's like, man, he him. It's just what it is. It'll, it, it'll never change. And I bet in your field, too. A nigga that's him, he's going to just have that. There is nobody on the planet that will not receive random hate if they're not the person that they are. Never will happen. You will be ignored on this planet. When people don't get a certain amount, like, okay, like a person that, a person that has had all the attention and it's in their favor all the time, like they have to have it on them. If it ain't on them, it's like the world don't exist. But I've been a nigga that's been getting attention so long, it's like, all right, get you some of it. I don't give a fuck. Man, True Foden made a power move over here fucking with us while the rest of y'all niggas dick pulling in the circle. The rest of y'all niggas sitting in the circle, all y'all with y'all legs crossed, tugging each other's nuts. True photo made a power move over here. Power attracts power. Negative attracts negative. Like, what you mean? He's made a power move, man. True photo is tied in with us. Now we going that way. He didn't do no dumb ass shit. He said, I'm going that way. Stupid niggas. Niggas, niggas, that's what makes niggas so worthless to me because they follow anything. Niggas just follow shit. Niggas just look at another person and say, I hate that person. I don't give a fuck you exist. Especially not, not man, listen, state mind. What? I, I wouldn't give a fuck if you exist. I don't, I ain't never been, man, you know how many niggas I know that's rappers and shit, they'll never bring me around, like, they more power players, because it's just, it's a jealousy thing, and they think I can't see it, a nigga come around me, I give you the plug, because I'm verb, I don't give a fuck who you are, I can give you the plug, I can give you the direct connect to it, I'm verb, I will get there, I'm through the door anyway. I don't got to go behind the wall and tell niggas, hey, Unc, I don't fuck with him. Don't fuck with that nigga. I don't do shit like that because I don't give a fuck. Because you're you and I'm me. I, don't, I would never look at a nigga on this planet with any type of envy. My heart rate don't even speed up for no niggas, man. It's like, I don't give a fuck about him. Because I'm, I'm, I'm in a shell that attracts everything. It, it's, man, y'all wouldn't understand what that shit is when you're a rare human, man. And I think there's a lot of rare humans in the chat. That I'm talking about a rare human that displays it. Because if we don't display that we're rare humans, we're nothing. If you have an ability to be rare and you're not displaying it, you're nothing. But rare humans should never have... I, I can't never look at a nigga... Like, I can't do what Rito does on stage. I watch it with my own two eyes. I can't do that. That's not my gift. That's like he has a power of this. I got a power of that. I don't look at him with no... I don't wake up and think about it. I don't give a fuck. Why? Only people do that is unhappy people that see elevation. When they see it and they say, damn, he is going? Fuck no. What? You had the ball. What the fuck? You, you was on the court this long. What the fuck are we talking about? Fuck no. That is a complex that black people have, man. It's an evil complex. Niggas just have an evil. I want to just, no, I want to believe he's wrong because I hate him. You're evil. But this world, when you choose to tell the truth or you choose to stand alone on your own principle and theory, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have a lot of time. It's just what it is. It's what comes with it. It's like, but it, but do you want to die enormous or live dormant? I'd rather die enormous. Fuck y'all niggas, man. Y'all can't turn this light down. I can't turn this motherfucker down, nigga. So what the fuck make you think you can turn it down? You can't. I'm picked for a job, man. I can't turn this shit off. So y'all can't turn it off. I've seen every attack there possibly was from the biggest night. Can't a nigga fucking move me if y'all haven't noticed that. Can't a company fucking move me if y'all have not noticed that. You can huddle up and you can't dent the armor if y'all haven't noticed that. 
Niggas gotta come in here. Niggas run in this room and they hide by, they hide their faces. How can you feel like a man walking in a room hiding your fucking face? You don't feel like a coward? No, I'm just in here just being no, you not, nigga, because you wanna come here this power. That's why y'all can't stop me. Think about every attack I seen. Nothing has changed but more power. Okay, so stop challenging it. It's a waste of time. You're not going to take me out. None of you punks taking me off the planet. God going to take you. That's how this goes, man, because I got a purpose. And I keep telling y'all that it's already been prophesied and predicted. That's why none of y'all can stop me. Y'all ain't noticed that. You, you can't stop him. They need him to go through here because it's already written, man. There's nothing you can do. I'm trying to tell you stupid chicken eating niggas this. And I know it'll sound crazy because y'all minds are helping because y'all eat chicken and pork. When you take that shit out your body, you hear different things. You see different shit. You get a new power. It's already lined up and ordained for me to be where I'm going to be because it needs me to be it. So your weak ass can't take nothing from me, man. So you're wasting your energy. For you to hate a nigga out of nowhere, right? Guess what that causes? High blood pressure. You think I'll let one of you niggas make my heart beat speed up? Another nigga. Man, not you soft ass niggas that, that, that come in this room and don't show your face. That means you're a coward. No matter what you think you stand on or how real your principle is, nigga, you got to come in behind a fake anything. There's no real niggas hiding behind fake profiles, man. I don't got no fake profile, not one. Put me, uh, hook me to the monitor. Why would I waste my, the thought of wasting my time to create that type of shit is like peonic to me, man. Just so I don't want nobody to hurt. I'm a bold nigga. Whatever I said is what I said. You niggas hoes, man. Y'all got to hide behind shit. That's a coward. Where y'all from again? See, we, we wasn't allowed to, like when I grew up, where I grew up, we wasn't allowed to be like, like, and you can't go to war if you don't have more, man. I got more. Like, it's like, uh, I grew up in a in, in a time where it wasn't, you couldn't, you couldn't avoid that. Now in social media, you can be a whole hoe out here. You can just be whatever you want. Your inner bitch ass nigga can come out. Niggas is weak. I never hide my face on nothing I said. If I said fuck you, I said fuck you. If I say, nigga, I'm going to hit your little bitch when I catch her, I'm going to hit your little bitch when I catch her. And that's the only thing that's going to happen, right? If I say you're not going to, if I say hey, you ain't going to be nowhere, in it, you're not going to be nowhere in that type of mix with me. If I tell you, hey, man, I'm afraid for my life, I'm going to blow this motherfucker, I mean that. Because we come from a place like, see, people that don't see these settings ain't going to understand them. You couldn't do that. You had to face that, man. Man, I ain't, I ain't never, nigga, I ain't never finna be hiding my motherfucking face to say something to a nigga. Man, please. I ain't gonna tell another nigga to tell a nigga he said anything. I ain't my style of play either. But I can't expect niggas to be me. It's just two different types of humans we got on this planet, y'all. Like, it's like some people, it's like some people, like, they, they don't have a problem with certain shit and some do. I'm just set to a different setting because I got a purpose for real. Why can't I do everything? Like, let's cut the shit. None of y'all can stop me. I have got here carrying the boat by myself, doing whatever I want at all times. And all y'all was hating against me and trying to huddle, and none of y'all couldn't dent the car. Because I don't, I don't duck what I said. I stand on what I said. I'm from where I said I'm from. They'll tell you that. And that's what I'm saying. When you got people that look, because look, what y'all don't understand is, I'm a lot of people's way out now. When you become any kind of form of successful, crashing out is not a thought that goes through your mind. It's like, not with him. Fuck my man. Let him do what he want to do. No niggas willing to jeopardize it if he's successful. There's no successful niggas willing to jeopardize their lives and their freedom. Name for me one successful nigga that's willing to jeopardize his life and freedom. A very successful nigga. That just wants to. Kind of doesn't happen, right? Back where I, when I come from, honey buns was 35 cents. Rito, did y'all have honey buns? 
Yeah, I ain't fuck with them shits though. I was eating them them oatmeal cookies. Oh, the oatmeal cream pies for twenty five cents. In the, in the yeah, I fuck with those. Them honey See, these young cookies. niggas don't know. They don't even know nothing. That was our breakfast and shit like that. Like we that was, shit that's was like two dollars now for them niggas. They man, that shit was twenty five cent back in the day. You can go, walk down to the store and get your put some in your stomach for twenty five cent for real. That's I said, ain't that a pause? Put some in your stomach for twenty five cent. God damn, that sounds crazy. But we could, if you had 50 cents back in the day, you can get you something to eat and something to drink and walk to school. Stopping at the store on the way to school is what all the ghetto kids did. They went, we went in there, stole candy, set up for the day, you know what I'm saying? It's a part of our lives and shit. It's crazy how everywhere on the planet is like, it's just a different, everybody's voice is different. But if you grew up in them, like, okay, like I grew up in them settings, right? So when I go to like, other people's areas, I can look at them and tell if they grew up over there. I can tell how, I can look and tell if they're from them settings. Like one time I went out, I, I was with Battle Rap Trap and I was out with them niggas all night. I was with them, I was by myself with a bunch of them niggas. I ain't really know them like that. I'm out with them, we rolling around at the studio, they shooting dice. Trap said, hey man, we didn't know you was gonna be cool like that. I said, what's the difference between me and y'all? Y'all just sound different. Ask him in my line. What's the difference between me? When I saw them, I said, oh, I know these type of niggas. Because these type of niggas is the same type of niggas that you be in the court. Like, but you had to grow up there to understand it. Like a nigga, that, if you don't grow up in these settings every day, you will not recognize nothing. You will not recognize when you're getting lined up. You will not recognize when you're going to get backdoored. You will trust everybody around you when you don't come from them settings. When you come from them settings, there is no trust in everyone around you. It's not. Nobody can really, like, it's just, it's, you learn how to move in a different way. That's why you ain't heard a nigga say that he's lying. He not from, oh, yes, he is. You ain't heard no niggas that know me say, hey, no, dude, we'll be tripping with you if we got you, bro. See, these, the, the thing is, it's like, we're, as black people, we get forced to have to be tripping. That's why when a nigga tripping, it's another day to us, bro. It's not like a, it doesn't mean anything. It's like, oh, he tripping too. Just like all these niggas on the street tripping, right? All right, cool. They all tripping. We walking down the street though. A lot of y'all didn't see those settings coming up. So you wouldn't understand. Life ain't no fucking video game, boy. The world we come from, it wasn't no video game. You make one mistake, you don't get home. I don't make some mistakes, dummies. That's why I live this long. Because I come from where I come from. I live this long because I don't make no stupid mistakes. Everything is calculated. Everything tactical. Because that's how you keep going. You just gotta know the rules, man. It's rules, bro. Like, nah. And it's sad that so many black people get caught up into these these negative vibrations and shit. They let them cut. I learned all that stuff. Any nigga that come from the ghetto and shit, I know everything you know. I know how to do everything you know how to do. Every single fucking thing you know how to do. Do you think I apply that in my real life? In the real world, it doesn't exist. All the principles you punks think that y'all are following, they're changing every year, like iPhone updates. It's just changing them, right? It doesn't exist. You niggas can, what I don't understand about most of you gang members, why y'all ain't on it? Like, who is y'all killing? Like, that's what I'm saying. Okay, because this is my thing with a lot of gang members. The rappers that are gang members. Not gang members. The rappers that are gang members. When do y'all got time to slide or do anything that the hood needs? Or do you put that on as a jacket to make people back up off you? Because when do you have time to be active? Okay, when when people lose their lives unjustly, when does the gang, you gang member nigga show up and go smoke something? You gang members ain't killed a cop yet. Y'all ain't did anything to nobody outside of people that look like you. And you gonna willing to kill somebody because they from another place? That's the rappers. I'm not talking about the people that's forced into the lifestyle. 
Some people are forced into the lifestyle. We can't speak to them because they grew up in them settings, and that's what it is. We talking about the rappers with options. You rap niggas with options. Why would you pick the option to pretend that you're one of those? It's called fear in most cases. If you wasn't forced or turned, it's most of the time it's fear. Because you, it's it, but it's a it's a natural fear because it's like okay, if I don't, I mean you know. But if you did not, have, if you, I had a choice. Uh, that's what y'all don't. When do you see people from where I'm from standing against what I see? They just get quiet like how they supposed to, and they just watch, and everybody's ears go up, and then the phone start ringing. That's it. That's it. Because we come from that world, man. If you go to war, you cannot underestimate the opponent. That's dumb. That's dumb. No matter how you feel, if you let your feelings dictate your body, you will die. It's 100% accurate. It's, just, it's, it's 100% the truth. If you are a man and your feelings dictate your movements, you are going to die. You are. A hundred percent, you're going to die. A hundred percent, people that love you will cry extremely hard if you don't control the emotion side of it. You ain't supposed to have emotion in you. When these hoes be in these TikTok videos and they putting deal, like trying to put on, like the 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 the, uh, the lesbian girls putting dildos in their pants, that shit don't look fucking accurate, does it? Don't look like she having a hard time with that. That's what happens when you put a girl's emotion in a man's body. It looks stupid. You're going to die. You are going to die. It's just what it is. We're not supposed to operate like that. When you go to war, you go to war for a reason. It got to be something dumb. It got to be something for real. Like, But if I'm going to go to war, though, this is the thing with niggas that want to go to war. It's not credible if you ain't went to war with everybody. It's not credible if you ain't went to war with people who got on you. It's not credible if somebody get on you and then you move away. That's not credible. Every altercation I had in my city, guess what I did? I stayed in my city. I ain't never ran. I stayed in my city. Anytime it was up with me and any nigga in my city, I didn't leave my city. Uh, fact check it. Google it. If you a gangster, you got to be gangster with everybody. And you're not a gangster until you do some gangster shit to some gangsters. When? Make the gang members pull their files. Man, who has you done something to? When have you repped for us? What are we talking about? Stop letting hey, hey, gang members that's, that's forced into this lifestyle. Stop letting these rappers just put y'all jackets on, man. It's, their life ain't the same. Like, for real. Any, look, when y'all hear me talk, check it. Ask niggas from my way. Don't ask the dorks on the internet, niggas that don't know it. Ask the You would have been sorry by now. You would have heard somebody say that by now. He's not, I'm not lying to you, niggas. They know him. I'm not lying to you, niggas, that my people in rage. When you go to war, you got to think offense and defense, man. Not offense. You got to get a stop, too. The other team will score. The moment the ball is shot, both teams are going to try to score, right? It's not one way. It's both sides. So this is what I ask niggas all the time. I judge a nigga on how he handled pressure. I say I judge a nigga. I judge a nigga on what's coming to him, not him going forward. Like like if you go to the gym and you box, a nigga going forward, that shit might look all right with him. You put him on that back foot. That's when you see who he really is. Anybody that boxes can understand that, right? You make you back that nigga up. Make him punch backwards. Make him coming out of that. Or did he tighten up, tuck his chin, and get in the mix with you? That's how I judge a nigga. Did he back up or did he lock down? If the nigga put his chin in his chest and locked down, he ain't going nowhere. He ain't. No, he's not. But if he backing up and he got a huh. He got a jab backing up, the power coming down off of him. Back his ass up. Some niggas ain't backing up. I'm backing a nigga up. 
one way or another. I'm going to back you. When you put a nigga, that's why I don't go offensively with niggas. You don't see me threaten niggas. You don't see, because I'm not, that's offense. No, nah, I'm going to be the nigga that's going to back you the fuck up, though. That's it. I'm never, in my whole career of rap, I ain't never brought no negative activity. No, no, nothing has been shut down because of me. Nothing. I'm going to back you up, though. I'm not going to go offensively at you. Because offensively, I don't know what's in your head. Like, if I, you go at it, because I, I'm, if I wake up and choose to go offensively at a nigga because I hate him, right? I don't know where his head is for that day. What if his mind is in a place and he just lost everything or he something happened in his life and that he just flash out because I'm fucking with him? No, I would never let my emotion do that. But I will back your bitch ass up, though. Severely. I'm that type of nigga, man. That all the niggas that's wild and so super so-called aggressive with no jail time and never been shot is a fucking lie, man. Who? There is no gangsters on this planet that's aggressive, wild, tripping, that have not been shot or have not been in jail. Who? I, I, I'm sorry, people. Pardon me. I come from them settings. I'm from Pagedale slash Elmwood, a werewolf. Kill my own kind, then hit the club and werewolf. What's my name, nigga? I say it all the time, right? You heard anybody say, that's a lie? Oh, all right. Ain't no wild niggas not getting shot once. Ain't no wild niggas not going to jail once. You ain't no wild nigga. You pretended. A wild niggas. Uh, okay, everybody that's been in jail. Let me go get the phone. Show of hands, right? If you come from the hood, do you know any wild niggas that grow up over 30, extra wild gangsters? Never been shot or been in jail. I know that shit ain't moving, Rito. I know it ain't. It can't be. It can't be. That's not... When you grow up in them settings, that's what happens to every aggressive nigga. Aggressive nigga will get killed. Aggressive nigga will get shot a few times. Aggressive nigga will go to jail because he's aggressive, right? But why do niggas always want to be aggressive? You can't have selective aggressive. See, here's the thing. Like, you can you can know I ain't no hoe. No, man, ain't nobody telling you I'm no hoe and no stupid shit like that, right? But I'm going that way, though, right? So it's like, no, nah, let's stack there. Because I'm going that way to achieve what I need. If a nigga want to crash, there's multiple niggas you can just go die with right outside. Just go. If you was that, if if, if nigga really, if, if niggas just want some action, you can go right outside, up your burn on a nigga and see what happened right then and there, right? If you just got a, a, a thirst to purge, right? You can pick anybody and see how it go that day. If I want some smoke with any, if I just say, ooh, it's a bad day, I want some smoke. All I got to do is go outside. I can pick any nigga to see how it go. I could just stop him, push him in his face in front of his gal and see what happens. I can do that if that's what I want, right? Or I don't want that then, right? Niggas. Blacks want to kill blacks at all times. Blacks hate blacks at all times because you niggas see evolution. I, I, I ain't with you niggas anyway. I, don't, I, I ain't no extra fast run or high jumping motherfucking nigga. I'm a skilled hunter. I'm an Indian. I'm, I have carried more Indian than anything. Skilled hunter. Set the trap, dummy. Listen to what I'm saying. Skilled hunter. Set the fucking traps. Man, you come playing with me, you playing home alone with the globe, nigga. You just don't know that. Because I was trained in the... We grew up and we had to learn how to do shit. Hey, we don't move that way. All right, what we do then? Somebody got to teach you. Somebody got to teach you. Just stop me when you hear people that know me say something that I'm just windy all right. When a nigga come, and, and it's always been like this. When a nigga come with me to the city, I can get him anywhere he want to go. Just stop me when I'm there. Matter of fact, Twerk was there to ask Twerk what happened when he called me. Hey, Vera, what you want to do? Right next to him. She could line him up. Uh, Put him with Ross. Put him, no, what's up? That come from groundwork. That come from 
Hey, we know him, bro. What you talking about, man? We know, dude. What's up? Man, that's Bird. What you talking about? Anybody that been down there with me, they tell you. That's, that's Bird, yeah. Ain't nothing but love and respect for me. The only people I've had problems with in my city, from in most cases, most cases is rappers. That's it. What's up with that tell y'all? Because if I was fucked up or something, nigga, I'd be static with the dope boys or the the the, the niggas. I, I grew up in they settings. They all know me. What you talking about? I could static with them. I could just static with them niggas, right? Right? Oh, no. Nah. I ain't gonna be, I'm not going fucking with you, but I'm gonna back you up though. For sure I am. Anyway, anyway, it gotta be. Anyway, it gotta be. Uh, for sure. That's why, but that's why I tell niggas to be safer and be smarter. Do not be a dummy. You live one time. Somebody loves you, right? Somebody on this planet gotta love you. For you to wanna die and jeopardize that shit, you don't love that person. Because while we on this planet, you're supposed to get the most. I'm going to say. So when we on this planet, you're supposed to get the most time you can get, man, out of a human. And, you know what I'm saying? Try to be cool. You're supposed to get that the most. Why the fuck do y'all want to speed up y'all death? Why do y'all want to speed up going to jail? Like, why? Why? What makes you niggas hate life so much to where y'all want to die? Where y'all think gangster shit is cool? Who are you trying to impress? The niggas or the hoes? Because if you're trying to impress the niggas, you a punk. And the hoes don't care about no gangster shit. Because guess what? 6 9 told on all them people and you think he stopped getting put? Yeah, another bad bitch win. Hoes don't care. So who you, you trying to make niggas dicks hard? When you talk gangster shit, you want niggas to say, yeah, that's hard. Wait, wait, where that's not why they're doing it. They're trying to scare somebody, Ver. No, but 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 you 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 only can scare people you know got fear in them though. You know what I'm saying? You scared like what you 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 can't target fear. Like it's like how like some people would judge a book and say they're gonna look at one nigga and say, Oh, he probably scared of him. Why? Because I don't look stupid like them niggas and I ain't yelling. Yeah, because I know what looking stupid and yelling gets us locked up, harassed. That's it. The hoes don't care. The hoes, the hoes. What, what you mean? So who impress niggas? Because the only people that's going to be excited by a nigga sticking their chest out is niggas. I don't give a fuck. I I, I recommend the other. When we out, when my people, uh-uh. Hey, look, we got to get back, man. We It's just if, if, if need be. But if we can get avoided, we're going home. I like going home. I am going home. I am going home, man. Like, so it's like, hey, Hey, no, nah, no, nah, bro, this ain't that. We, that don't make us feel like we some hoes, because we know we ain't hoes. Like, it's like, hey, no, nah, bro, that ain't that. When you know who you is, you don't, you don't bark loud. You ain't got to scream, type, and cat. You ain't got to do that type of shit. Swan blocked me, too, y'all. Ain't that crazy? He blocked me. That was just a random thing. All I did, now, look, I might have did say something wrong. Okay, Swamp said, I think I could have just made it if I... In, <sighs> I would have, if I'd have been more loyal to myself, you know, them sad tweets he posts every now and then. And what I just quoted it and I said, okay, nigga, nah, nah, get off your knees. I told you get off your knees months ago. Finish your plate, nigga. Block. I'm like, damn, man, all the shit you talk to me, man, I can't tell you to finish your plate. No, you can't decide, man, that, no, oh, I should have been more loyal to me. Now, I've been telling you that for the last two years and you said I was a liar. I've been telling you for the last two years, man, you got to go for you. I'm sure you can find tweets of me saying it. This stupid nigga, I should have been more loyal to myself. Boy, you sound like a Brandy song or something. fuck is you talking about? I've heard been telling you for two fucking years. Hey, man, be loyal to yourself. The league will be loyal to the league. Be loyal to yourself. You lie. You not lying. You're not lying on me. Y'all, do y'all notice how many niggas get cool with? Do y'all notice how dude is cool with every nigga who don't like me? Man, I ain't cool with no niggas that don't man. Please. Who? Everybody that don't like me, they, they, they these is people? Man, that shit is crazy. You'll drag anybody into the war? I ain't dragging nobody into no stupid shit, man. All I told him was to finish his plate. 
No, nah, nigga, get off. I told you to get off your knees a long time ago. Finish your plate. I ain't even cuss. All I said was finish your is finish your plate a bad thing to say? Cause I don't think that's bad, man. Like I finish your plate. Come on, bro. I didn't even cuss. You know, people got their <laughs> people got their own theories, right? That's why I, I respect every human for who they are, man. Let them let a human be who he's gonna be. I, I don't have to like it. I don't have to like who the human is. But I learned to understand it. Yeah, but I don't have to coexist with it. I'm not going to say nothing to you because I'm a civilian anyway. I'm not going to bother you. I'm not going to be the aggressor. I'm going home, though. I'm backing you up one way or another. One way or another. What well, One way, period. Like, I, I, I'm, that's it. Like, y'all got to understand something, right? I've grown up to live a long time. Okay? I've seen a couple worlds. And I want to see like seven or eight more. Okay? That's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be. But niggas have so much nigga, Even girls. You will see another girl and say, I don't like that bitch. Why you don't like her? I don't know. It's just something about her. It's probably because we all want to fuck her. That's why you don't like her. Because someone you like is attracted to her. Just look like that bitch then. Why, well, don't you see it's a simple fix? If if you're a girl and you just randomly don't like another girl because somebody else likes her, you just look like her. Simple fucking fix, right? But you know what? You, humans, I'm on the wrong planet anyway. I ain't even supposed to be talking to y'all anyway because we don't speak the same language. The ones that come in here and listen, they have like... They have open minds. They can they can listen and, and think that it's going to be more. The stupid niggas can't handle the brilliant part. What do stupid niggas do? They run because it's too much to compute. These niggas, stupid niggas is on, well, the new generation of humans is on A and B settings like Nintendo or something. It's, it's, it's jump or punch. That's it. We got all kind of buttons and shit, man. All kind of buttons and tires and shit, man. Like, you know. But 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 black men, don't hide your face, nigga. Don't hide your face and be that hoe. Stick no nah, nigga, stick your chest up, little nigga. Like, look, look, look. Every black man that comes around this motherfucker and hides his face. Show your face. Why you can't show your face? Does it hurt you? Scared to smile. They called you ugly. Well, life is harsh. Hug me. 